Hello, hello, Vikings and Shield Maidens. This is Undersheel, of course, and uh, welcome back to the Mountain Blade Viking Conquest. I have uh, managed to make peace with pretty much everyone over the last couple of uh, episodes. So right now we're only at war with uh, Lutlind and Vesex. And Vesex, I kind of want to stay at war with because I want to take the, all their shit. Ah, shit, this is something I actually promised a lot of you guys in the comment section and I forgot to do completely but this is uh, the, the difficulty settings I'm using pretty much normal and everything except the campaign AI which is hardcore and that's obviously why it's difficult to take shit over and I removed stamina because I find it annoying personally it kind of ruins the fun a little bit for me but but I, I definitely think it's easier if you have stamina off than on uh, when it's on it, it gets harder so yeah this is my difficulty settings. Still training, gathering troops and making monies. Uh, Lutlin wants to have a piece and like, fuck it. I, I, I'm not interested in their stupid little fucking island up here. So, so yeah, I, I they can have a piece. Wait a second. Oh yeah, that's Vesex, good. Oh, that's actually Vesex, that's awesome, I can take that shit back now. Beautiful, beautiful, good work Vesex. Getting rid of the East Angola that owned that previously, very nice. Well, I'll be damned, my lords don't seem to be completely useless. Vis... Vistun? Taken back by my lords, I haven't done anything. They've taken this, and they took back Badon again. I actually lost it between the last recording or whatever. I uh, don't know if we lost this... Thing though, Drosse, but yeah, I I don't have to worry about shit pretty much. <laughs> I can recruit as much troops as I want. God damn it, I'm just about it heading home for, for the absolutely lost trading session and recruitment session. And look at this fucking shit. Holy crap, a rebellion fucking happened. I, I didn't even record it. Uh it's Northumbria. One, two, uh wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine fucking castles. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, you goddamn motherfuckers, man. Goddamn motherfuckers. Whoa. Only has three lords, though, and one king. Oh, he has actually left the realm. What the fuck? <laughs> I thought they were only supposed to do that when you kicked their ass. Okay, hopefully my lords are gonna take care of this shit. Uh, but honestly, I don't think so, so I think I'm gonna have to suit up and, and start taking shit back. I'm gone recruiting and making money for a couple of... <laughs> for, a, for like a month and a half. <laughs> this is what I get home to. Uh, filled up my coffers, 400,000 plus whatever I got in my inventory. I'm betting all of these wanna join me. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Everyone fucking hates me. That's, I'm always thinking about like hiring this guy, but nope. Oh, fuck me, man. Nope. <laughs> Why would they want to serve for my kingdom? <laughs> if they hate me as much as possible. Nope. <laughs> nope. What the fuck? I think I'm going to name this episode to nope. <laughs> 64. Okay then. Okay then. Okay then. Nope. <laughs> uh, 95. Nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> Every holy! Sh I beaten everybody so many times and kept them in prison so long. I guess uh, everyone hates me right now. God damn it, man. Feels bad, man. Fe feels bad. Gonna. Resupply my inventory here a little bit so we can. Oh, the high actually have 460,000 then. Damn. <laughs> Man, this is painful. Uh, it's looking a lot better now. It's only Bebumbra and uh, Stanford left, and that was because they had like well over 1,500 men in them at the moment when I was gonna attack. Most of these places have only had about. Maybe 300 to 500 men in them, but uh, 1500 plus, that's that's hard to take when you only bring like an army of three, 400. So uh, I'm gonna see now if the lord that actually was in here... Uh, oh, god damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> you kidding me? I, I've also had to defend this place a couple of times from the Vesex dudes. Uh, let's see what's happening here. Oh, yes, he's actually gone. Ooh, what is this? 29k? We'll take it. Anything over 20k, as always, I'll take it. But this has been 
freaking costly. I don't even know how long I've been doing this, but it, at least like four or five hours real life time. It's goddamn ridiculous. Oh my god, no. They own stuff over here as well. What the hell? They're only at war with me for god's sakes. How can they be taking castles over in Ireland? They got one over there as well. <laughs> what the heck? Let's check out Norway and that stuff too, so they don't have shit here as well. Haven't even paid attention. No, they don't. Okay. Oh my god. Annoying fucking bastards, man. <laughs> so it's costed me about 200,000 Panninger and about 500 to 400 dead men so far. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting pretty shit of the pretty pretty shit pretty sick of these guys' shit. That's for sure. Oh, we are back to where it all started, Bevambra, my very first city. It's a beautiful city. Uh, fucking bitch to take though. So uh, this is gonna be difficult. I believe they have about a thousand men. 1200 something like that 900 in the actual castle or in the city like garrisoned and then two lords with 200 each So that's 1300 if we do the math real quickly good work Anders Ma math is your strong side I, I can tell so I've, I've set up uh, basically my, my infantry. They're, they're getting pummeled right now uh, Just letting them do stupid shit in the front and then I'm gonna send up uh, our nice little elites the Irish champions and let them throw their spears and then lost uh, I'm gonna bring up the who's cars and let them throw their spears and then actually uh, Rush the fucking shit basically <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. Let's fucking do this. Ooh, I'm fucking sweating. I have killed like a hundred dudes Holy shit, man. We're finally up and over the walls and have security. There's 400 dead of theirs and we have 23 dead, and that is pretty much all his cars and nobles. So that definitely sucks hard, but we're at least in. I remember last time taking this place, it was way harder, but I believe I had less men then. Uh, and pr pretty much, uh, not as many men defending, but almost, I would say. Oh man, it feels good to be inside again. <laughs> man, there's a big ass slaughter down here too. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see, we're gonna have... Uh, actually, we're gonna have them charge and we're gonna have the elite stand still here. Hopefully they can engage a little bit. Let's have the infantry charge as well to get rid of the bowmen that are still hanging about. What the fuck, man? There's always one guy up on a fucking roof. How the hell did he end up there? Maybe you can glitch up there somehow. I don't know. That's just dumb, though. God damn. Oh, looking good. Lots of red. Lots of red. They have a bunch of bowmen up there though, I'm guessing, since they're not coming down. So all of that is gonna be skirmishers. I don't really know how to deal with those in the end. Uh, I think we're gonna lose a lot of men to that. Oh, oh damn it! <laughs> I thought I found a secret way up. Uh, I put my elites here and they started climbing this fucking hill, man. Uh, but sadly, even if there was a hole in the wall, you can't actually physically go up here. They, they kind of stopped you from doing that, so you gotta go through that stupid little... Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what my men are gonna be facing as soon as they push up through this little hole. So that's why I'm worried. Okay, my men are at the top, and I'm expecting to see quite heavy losses. Uh, oh, wrong button. Let's see, elites 43 left, and infantry 4, so pretty much 50 dudes pushing up here. Look at their shields, just fucking full of bullshit. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Yeah, now we're taking casualties. Holy heck. Dudes, dudes, dudes. Like, stop going that way first, and then start attacking. Goddamn fools. Okay, maybe we can actually bring the Huskars up here as well. Oh, that wasn't a lot of troops. That was probably their lost... Reinforcements. I actually scratched that. More is coming from the back. Shit. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Oh yeah! Reinforcements is on the way, baby. So, we have 81 infantry, 41... 
archers, 28 elites, and oh shit, we got no Huskars as reinforcements. Damn, holy shit. Trying another push again, and it's just ridiculous how many arrows and crap is coming our way. God damn. Okay, I'm gonna try to put all of the dudes here, and then we're gonna have our archers here in the back as well. So maybe we can have a little bit of help from them. Holy shit, and they, they, all of the infantry is like looking the wrong way as well because there's like one dude behind us. God damn. Okay, send in the elites. Holy crap. How many? 101 dead. This place is hardly worth taking. This is like the most gnarly fucking city of them all to take. It is ridiculous. Actually, we might have gotten a foothold now. Yeah, I think so. It's looking good, yeah. A lot of these fuckers are going down. Fuck. I mean, we have gotten rid of our... Ah, oh, there's about... What is it? 200 and... No, 300 or 400 of them left, but... Yeah, look. Yeah, all my infantry is dead. Yep, okay. Time to get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. <laughs> the, the second uh, I abrupted the siege... A force of like 200 men attacked me that was just circling the castle and too afraid to attack whilst I had like an army of 400. Uh, I barely managed to escape by sacrificing some of my men, so I had to simply pull back and uh, get new men and food and that kind of stuff and fix my wounds and all that good jazz, but we are back and this time they had no lords in the castle. I uh, took a lot of damage fighting my way up here though, I gotta say, but uh, things are definitely looking better now. And look at this, they are actually pushing down. What the heck? Uh, I think we are victorious. Fuck yeah! <laughs> you don't rebel against me, motherfucker. Even if you can take literally 10 castles in one city, I will take it back, motherfucker. And I come for that ass. <laughs> I come for that ass, you hear me? I will come for that ass. I'm gonna bring up the, the, the bowmen and hopefully kill a couple more of these dudes with them. But yeah, so finally... We've managed to get this place. Feels good, man. Feels good. Oh, yeah. This is a good sight. Uh, we lost uh, Badon and we lost Sera Buru uh, because we've been busy with this rebellion. But look at this. Another castle has popped up that they own. I don't understand how they're take look they've taken cities and sh i think it's because they're a rebellion and no one else is allowed to go to war with them until six days from now my god man holy heck but that, this is actually good them being over on ireland and kind of keeping the irish busy or oh, even vesex is on ireland uh, the biggest threat right now like single biggest threats are the lions and the Albans, I think, uh, and the Vesex. I would say they're pretty much equal. They they have three cities each, don't they? I believe so. Uh, so we're gonna siege up this shit as well and take it, but I think that is going to be it for this episode. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.